All right. Welcome to the saxophone factory, the trombone department. <laughs> you know, if you've been teaching as long as I have, you get an opportunity, really, is, and it is an opportunity, to, um, to help out wherever you can. Uh, I have trumpet students. I have trombone students. I have flute students. I have a, I have, I have a French horn student. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know. But, uh, <laughs> you know, so you have a, an option. And I've had violin and cello and guitar. Uh, you're trying to spread the, um, the, your knowledge of music uh, over a bunch of different instruments. Uh, and, and hopefully people get a joy out of it and, um, and able to learn and, and they want to move on to the next thing. Um, so I'm, I've opened up the trombone department in the saxophone factory. Uh, there's a trombone division. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to try to record uh, two lessons. Uh, we're going to start on lesson, actually lesson six, from the Rubank Elementary Method for, for trombone and uh, baritone. And um, the, the difference in lesson six is this. It's instead of having an A flat, like in previous exercises, this one has an A natural. A natural is in second position. Now remember, second pos first position is not slammed all the way to your face. Second position is a little further out. So, so uh, first position is a little further out. So second position is not necessarily in between first and third positions. It's not the center. So it's, norm it's, it's a little further out than you would think. It's closer to third position than you would think. Get a tuner. Make sure you know where your second position is, where that concert A is. That's going to be very, very important. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play the exercises one through eight. Hopefully, we won't have, we won't need a lot of explanation. Uh, it's just quarter notes. It's just getting used to playing A natural instead of A flat. Here we go. Starting at number one. One, two, ready? All right, lesson two, I mean, exercise two, starting on the uh, B flat, one. Two, ready? Cool. Now, that exercise has breath marks after every two measures, which I think is a great place to start but your goal needs to be to be able to play four measures at a time and play four measure phrases. So start off practicing with two measure phrases and then graduate to four measure phrases. Here we go, number three. One, two, ready? <laughs> In that exercise, it actually went to four measures. There we go. Exercise number four. It's a three-liner, so make sure you're paying attention. One, ready? Number five. One, two, ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we're now we're at exercise six. It's in three four, which means there are three counts in a measure, and a quarter note gets one count. Here we go. One, two, ready? <laughs> Number seven, same thing. It's a two-liner now. One, two, ready? Number eight, the last one, at um, Pierre's door, there is a repeat sign after four measures. That takes us back to the beginning, and then we play the rest of it, we play the rest of it through. All right, here we go. One, two, ready? <laughs> And there we are. That's all of lesson six. Outstanding. If you have trouble, you can stop the video, practice on your own, in, 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 in case I play things too quick, or you can use the, the little wheel here on YouTube and slow the exercises down. It won't affect the pitch, except for when I'm talking. But as far as the music goes, it'll be the same. Welcome to the trombone division of the saxophone factory. Thank you ever so much. Until we see you again, please keep playing.